Oh god, now look at this! A replica title belt! And now not just the eyes that are bleeding, the head's bleeding too! And now... Oh man! Ow! Oh! Well, the EXE virus, he stuck it to Dark Forge in Mexico! Oh, Dark Forge crap. sticking it to the virus here in London! Dark Void! The Dark Void and. Well, the virus there! He got absolutely decked. Hyrule Glory now back to his feet and making a cover. Two, Dark Forge three. has stuck it to the virus. Here is your winner, the Raid Master, Hyrule Glory. Technically, he's just stuck in his EXWI as well. ACW picks up the win. ACW's Halo Glory picks up the win over the virus. Thanks to Dark Forge. It's um, Well Dark Forge, he sticks it to the virus on this one, just as the virus did in Mexico. And uh, Dark Forge, he's just had it a win that Oh look out! Oh boy! That's Sonny Hammond! The big man from COH! Power bomb there! And now look at this! Take a look at this for a power game! And right now he's powering straight through Hell of Glory! Look at this! Oh, look, look, there's a high angle Boston! High angle Boston, high angle glory! Scott! When did Scott get here? He must have taken the 10 hour drive. Or a 5 hour, but, or 5 hour train ride. Yep. He'd have to make multiple changes, but still. Ow! Oh! But he's now taking it to both of them! Look at that there! And now, turns the attention back to Hammered! Or Hammered! Nicely done! And again there! Look at this! Gonna put the Rave Master in the sharpshooter! That's the Rave Master, the sharpshooter. And now, grab a high data. Reverse suplex. And now, Chelsea on the outside. And look at Holy Glory that tries to. Wow! Shooting star press there. Uh-oh! Oh, we've seen this from Scott before. We know what he's thinking. Scott McShannon! Oh, man! Powerbomb! On to Hanu Glory! Through the table! Well... We wanted to say that ACW may have got the advantage following that win. I think now TNE definitely takes it.
Sonny Hammond and her glory laid out by Scott McShannon. This big time. Big time, big time, big time layout. Well, okay, people, we now move on to the, um, I guess, late scheduling for this one, but the space has to be filled, but Amy Blazago now cannot compete at Golden Ambitions because of the injuries he suffered in Mexico. The next contest is a fatal four-way last chance women's money in the bank qualifying match. It is the first from Mobius, Amy. I wonder when it's not me that's getting interrupted. Uh, well, anyway, as I was saying, Amy Rose, no, sorry, Amy Blazago can't compete at God Ambitions. The space in the Money in the Bank ladder match now. It's open to these four. Well, they've only got one chance to get it. This matchup. Amy Rose, of course, many people still say that she is entitled to the rematch that she never got. She'll be able to have that rematch whenever she wants. If she can get the win here. And then win money in the bank. Here comes Dural! An individual who keeps disappearing after... Oh, what can you say? Introducing next, a part unknown. Dural! Done that perfectly, so I get interrupted. Yeah. Well, of course, there was that. They, Durrell did attack Amy Rose a few weeks ago. And that attack never really got resolved, so. Amy Rose has now got a chance to try and stick it to Durrell. Just like Durrell did last time. However. There's two other participants to worry about. And one of the most weirdest individuals. Ever. Ever! As of course, Earth! Introducing next, from Beijing, China, she is Earth! Of course, Earth, there's no denying she's a physical specimen, but again, I will say it, she is. I guess you could excuse the pun from me. She is the Conchita Verst of CXWI. The woman with a beard. Except the only difference is, is that Earth is actually a woman. Well, anyway, there is Earth. So, Amy, Dural, Earth. Here comes Kitana! I'll be an individual who should be in the Money in the Bank match. Without sheer doubt. I see Katana back as well. I'm basically. introducing the final participants from Edania. Katana! Katana Gladi is right. It's good to see Katana back in CXWI, especially after the personal issues that's been going on lately. Which is why she hasn't been around a little bit. It's good to see her back. The question is is she fully 100%? percent i going to find out. Of course, a win here for her. Puts her right in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Alongside, um, Queen Woker, She-Hulk, and Faith Connors. I'm going to have to say this right from the get-go. I'm going to put Katana to win this. Katana to win? Yeah. Former, women, former women's champion as well. So you've got two former women's champions involved in this match. Yeah. Of course, interestingly, now that I think about it, all the participants, if Kitana doesn't, if Kitana and Amy Rose don't win this, all the participants in the Money in the Bank will not have been women's champion. She-Hulk has never been women's champion, Queen Woke has never been women's champion, Faith Connors has never been women's champion. Faith Connors hasn't even been around long enough. Yeah, I know, but if Dural or Earth were to win, it means we would have someone that has never been women's champion in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Then again, it would be the first, and anyway, it's the first ever women's money in the bank ladder match. 